Hi and welcome to Volleyball One on One. I am so excited to be introducing, uh, I'd say volleyball legend, he won't admit that, uh, Jeff Nygaard, uh, two-time MVP at UCLA, two-time NCAA championship. You should have won a third, but thanks. Sorry. That's all right. um, incredible player, uh, three-time Olympian, twice for indoor, once for beach in 2004, as well as eight-time win on the AVP and FIVB. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so um, we're going to have some fun uh, today. And on our first video with Jeff, we're going to talk about hitting the pipe or bick. Now, when I was sitting there with Stein the other day, and you're going to get to see some of his videos, he basically says that Jeff gets full credit for bringing the pipe or bick into the United States and actually starting to run it in college. Well, let's give a little background here. <laughs> I was with the national team at this time in between college seasons. Yeah. And we were doing a hybrid system where I was in the middle blocker position, but I would be, no, let me say that I was actually the opposite, but I wasn't the true opposite because I had Ivy and Sorensen who were great out of the back row. Oh, wow. So I was working on hitting out of the back row, but I really wasn't the big option. So I was an opposite who would hit middle, but then I'd rotate in the middle to block the middle. Wow. So it was a hybrid situation. A lot of teams had no idea what to do. So once we finished with that and we had success, I went back to UCLA and Al came up with the ideas. How about we run a fast back one from the back row or just try it. And this is at a time when Stein and I, and I know for a fact that we had just watched, um, what's that movie with uh, Robert Redford? It's, uh, it's the one where everything's like this. Uh, this is what we were calling it for a little while. Well, let's do the back one because we're thinking, no one's going to know what this is. It's all <laughs> smoke and mirrors. So let's do the sneaky one of these plays. And then we didn't like that so much because Stein would be wiping sweat like this. And I'd be like, well, what am I doing? So eventually he just kind of came up with like this. And then I was like, okay, well, what, what do we call that? How do I audibleize that? And he goes, well, just call it a bick. It's, you know, it's like a little lighter. I'm like, fine, bick. And there it was. That is crazy because everyone calls it the bick now. Yeah. And that's that how it was. Awesome. I, don't, I can't take credit and I can't say definitively that I defined it oh. or I started in the world, but I know for a fact that in the NCAA, I was the first one to do it. Oh. So Stein and I and, and Al, he wanted the idea, we worked on it, we eventually got to the BIC. Okay, that's great. And, and uh, if you ask Stein, he says it's 100% credit to Jeff, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, so why do we show it? So, this is what I had to deal with. And I say deal with because every play was different. And I was in the back row two times on this side, one time over here. So once I had the pick, I would line up this way, kind of in a neutral spot. And I had Eric Sullivan, who was probably one of the best passers in the NCAA at that time, <laughs> taking a large portion of the court. So my job back here was I wanted to be fast to this middle spot, but I had to go around Sully to do it. And this took a lot of practice to where if he was passing over here and made this move, he would want to come back here to cover, which is the right play. However, if he did this and then came back here, it took me out of an approach. So we had to develop, if he went to the pass here, he had to freeze a second such that I could clear and then he could come to play. Or if he went to make this pass, he had to hold here a second such that I could hover here come into this spot and then just come straight in for this approach. And everything had to be off of the pass. If it was a good pass, then I'm sitting here and then I'm just waiting for that pass and then I'm coming in really fast here and just trying to broad jump as far as I can and float into the play without a single blocker in the world to worry about. If Sully had to move over here, then I had to dance over here and then come in and make that approach. So that's what I had to look at. That's pretty cool. Um, just quickly, Jeff, why is the big so effective? Specifically for my team, I had John Spira, now successful coach of the Irvine Antics. Two out of three NCL, he's actually going to be joining us in uh, May. We're going to be shooting video with him. Very excited about it. Yeah, he's a good looking fellow. <laughs> so we had him, <laughs> and John had one of the fastest arms on the team. He was a fast middle blocker. And what happens when you have a fast middle blocker is he's up in the air really quickly. Stein would just tap the ball out of his hands and John would already be hitting it. So as a middle blocker, if I'm trying to stop Spira, I had to make some kind of a tap, some kind of a move, some kind of a step, something that took me out of the way. 
And then if Stein sets the Vic right over the top of that, basically I had somebody who's on his way down and there's no block up every single time. Sure. So if they're, they don't even know it's coming because no one's done it before, I had a free shot. So if it was in system, it was almost a guaranteed kill. And it was fun. That's good. Any quick, quick tips? Quick tips on hitting the bit? Yeah, what was your, like, you know, one of the things I often see is these kids come in today and they've got this massive approach. And we're working with uh, Mike Deal and you're saying on door, the key is like a, just a quick right left approach. Any, any tips that you thought were really helpful for you? How, how far do you want to get into this? Quickly. Two, quickly? Two, two quick points. Real quickly. Smaller approach is always better because the less distance you have to travel, there's less opportunity for things to go wrong. Short distance, make it compact, make it fast, make it explosive. That's a good point. Okay, um, be sure to check out all of Jeff's videos. We got a lot of requests for us to go get a top middle, and Jeff is one of the greatest ever. When you Thanks, see buddy. his stuff, my pleasure, I'm honest. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Uh, uh, he's done some amazing stuff on middle blocking, six videos on that six videos on hitting the one, six videos on hitting the back one, and then six videos on alternative sets, as well as he's got 10 great standalones, and we're actually chatting about doing some other DVDs where we're gonna bring those to you too. So uh, Jeff, welcome aboard, and it's really exciting to have you on board with Volleyball One-on-One. -on -one. Good on you, mate. Cheers. <laughs>